1957, I was on the studio, and I saw this beautiful Gresham uh, managed guitar shop, just absolutely beautiful, black, jet dual, jet Gresh. So it was, it was marked up for $310, and I went in and asked him how much it was, and it was two, not $100 off. This is the first guitar, my first American guitar, that is, the first real decent guitar that I ever had, which I bought uh, in 1960. It cost me 75 pounds, and I bought it from a sailor in Liverpool who advertised it in a local newspaper. Anyway, he brought it back from America, and I was looking to get a real nice guitar, and that's the one I bought at that time. And the next thing, you got a phone call from George Harrison. And then he came in, and so he said, how much do you want for it? And I said, 90 pounds. So he hummed and hard, and he said, well, I've only got 70 pounds. And he pull, pulled out a scruffy load of banknotes, you know, 70 pounds. Uh, they wrote an IOU for the remaining 20 pounds. It has George's signature on it. And it just so happens that that IOU, which Ivan still has, was written on the back side of the custom document when he brought the guitar over from Liverpool. And that's just fate, how the guitar changed hands and ended up in George Harrison's hands that was used throughout the early Cavern Club days uh, with the Beatles and of course in Cloud Nine and his, through his solo career. But again, it's just fate and, uh, and there you have it. The original guitar we had in our possession yeah. for three days, and we were very fortunate to have for that long. We were able to take detailed measurements and drawings of the bridge, the thumb wheels, the posts. The posts are, are unusual. They're not just threaded rod. They have an end that's radius so that that bar will rock back and forth. We had the strap buttons drawn up. I took detailed measurements of the inlay on the fingerboard, on the headstock. We were able to have the pickups measured. I took uh, some clear plexiglass and, and was able to put it over the guitar to mark some of the dings and the locations of the strap knobs and the, the position of the control cavities. We got to x-ray the guitar to get the interior route, which is really important. The George Harrison tribute guitar is such a great project to work on. I don't know how we'll, we'll ever top this one. This is this is uh, this is a career uh, career high when it comes to hardest guitars. There's no, no no question about that. From all my experiences of being in the guitar business over the last 37 years, this has certainly been one of the most amazing, mind blowing highlights of my career. The George Harrison tribute project is one of the highlights of my career, and it's very exciting to be a part of it. Incredible. Nice one. <laughs> <laughs>